to episode 71 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Apologies for missing Monday's episode, I'm sure you're very excited to see how we get on in today's episode. Could be, very early on, but could be a season-defining game against Manchester City, who were the runaway winners last season and I'm sure will be up there this season as well, you can depend on that. Eggie and Chelsea have had a mixed start to the season, obviously three games played and we are in third, still a long, long way to go. Downward arrow, that's a shame. You'd normally be benched for that. Shows how important a player Eggy is to this side. Uh, someone pointed out that Regani has had two 4.5s in a row out of his three starts for uh, for Chelsea, the new signing. Not starting particularly strongly. He's going to be up against Iheanacho today, who can be dangerous. Uh, I'm not too bothered about Jason Punchin uh, attacking mid. Eggy's going up against an 82-rated left-back uh, on a downward arrow. Be surprised to see him do too much today, but we'll see how we go on. So what we need to do early in the season is just put down a good foundation. We had a slow start last season, finished strongly, but we don't want to be in that position again. We want to be at Christmas within a fighting chance for this Premier League title. That's the aim this season, and we need wins against teams like Leicester to start off strongly. And Ginkel into Eggy. Oh, what a touch that is! Into Ross Barkley. Eggy wants it back. It's flicked in towards him. That's a lovely ball, but Eggy runs into trouble. Really unlucky. First... Exciting bit of play of the game. He found himself with the ball in the box. Couldn't do anything with it. Oh, nice ball into Dyer. He's got a couple to aim for in the box here. Nathan Dyer. Back to Sirachi. Whips the ball in and bore a towering header. But over the bar. That's Leicester's first chance of the game. It's been a pretty uneventful game so far. Gonna have to do better than that to beat Kepa. Oh, Ibora finds Jason Punchin and he's through. And we shouldn't have doubted him even for a second. Obviously, they've replaced Madison with him. I didn't think he'd do such a good job, but that's a well-taken goal. Let's put Leicester up here. Eggie's floundering a bit in this game, and Chelsea's early season form is starting to look a little worrying. Hazard, this is nicely worked. Eggie's found a nice bit of space here. He'll get to this ahead of his man. Cuts back on the right foot. Whoa, straight at the keeper. Looking for an instant response there, Chelsea. Eggy with the poor finishing. He is on a red arrow today, let's not forget. He's done well, though, there to find Barkley. His ball in his blot. Sirachi will pick it up. Eggy sliding in just forces him to put it into touch. Chelsea need to step up a gear here. They've been shocked by that goal. Golo Kante now. Steaming forward. It's a clever ball over the top looking for Morata. Lovely first touch. Can he find Eggy in the centre? It's good defending. He didn't quite commit to that, though. First half nearly over here. Van Ginkle will find Eggy. He'll look to turn away from Alamond. Clever chip into Morata. Finish it here. Yes. Perfect way to end the half. And even on a downward arrow, Eggy can pull off some craftsmanship of that quality. And that certainly was crafty. Loves a little chip like this. Egg and chips. We've seen it a lot this season. Good first touch away from his man. Smart ball into Morata. Had to put that onto the back of a postage stamp. There wasn't much space to work with. The keeper would have been off his line if that had any more on it. He's got it just right. The deftest of flicks over the defender. It's a great finish from the Spaniard. And we're level here right on the verge of half-time. It's the perfect time to get the equaliser. And that's going to change Sarri's team talk significantly. It's going to change the feeling in this dressing room. We've not been great. But I still think there's more to come from this Chelsea side. Oh, Eggy, lovely return of passes there with Morata. Didn't really want that back, but we've got it here. We can find Van Ginkel. Oh, lovely turn from him. One more ball into Hazard. Could easily put us up here. Just overhit that one. Flowing counter-attack there from Chelsea. Just like that final bit of accuracy with the last ball. Oh, he's done well to win that back. Now Morata into Eggy. He's got Trent in loads of space. Can we pick him out? What a ball that is! Into the right back. Finish it off, Trent. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was a very, very good pass. Thank you, playing creator today. Trent just didn't quite have the confidence, though, to finish it off. Oh, nice ball into Dyer. Into the box here. Lays it back to Ibora. Oh, off the post. So easily could have taken the lead here with so little time left. Morata into Eggy. The return ball is on. Morata's ahead of Gonzalez. He can hold him off. Eggy's there. Wants it back. Onto his left. The curler. Oh, we should have looked for the pass. We're on poor form. 
It's one of the most difficult skills to pull off if you're on poor form. There's a crafted curling shot like that. I think he wanted it back. It was a good ball from Morata. Just didn't wrap his foot around it enough. So a set-piece opportunity here for Leicester. It's Sirachi with the short corner. He's one of my favourite chilli sauces. We get it away. Oh, real chance for a break here. As Hazard finds Eggy. It's for the 1-2 with Alvaro Morata. It's good hold-up play from the centre forward. Gonna have to do something with it here. Eggy loses the ball and then Trent didn't fancy it there. Didn't have the legs maybe to get back for it. Oh, Ibor has done really well to keep that in. Now Iheanacho through on goal. It's a lovely finish from the Leicester centre forward. And that is a heartbreaking way to end this game. Oh, and it came from Eggy losing the ball at one end of the pitch. And then a swift counter. Ibor has done so well there. I don't think any Chelsea player expected him to keep that in. And then one-on-one -on -one with Kepa. He's finished it off and he's probably finished us off here as well. And the Leicester fans in great voice here as somehow Leicester come away with the win here. Chelsea not on a good run and we come to our first loss of the season already. Fourth game in and we've already had one draw and one loss. It's not going to plan. It's not going to plan. We had chances. Eggy had chances. To be fair, with the downward arrow, we were always going to struggle. Oh, if only Trent had finished that one off after the great ball through from Eggy. Well, we need to regroup very, very quickly. So the Man City game is coming up and that is when we really need to get points in. Manchester City actually have drawn a game as well. Watford undefeated. They're top of the pile at the moment alongside Spurs and Liverpool. Well, look, you'd expect over the course of a season that Manchester City's quality would show through. Uh, still five goals in five appearances for Eggy, but he's had a couple of slightly off games, I would say. And at the very least, we'd hope for better form in this one. Really is a struggle playing on a downward arrow, not least because you just get so tired so quickly. Sideways arrow, we'll take that. Uh, real change up top here. Sarri's gone with Martinez and hudson Adoy. It's a bit of a risk in a big game like this. Good to see Loftus cheat back in, but Jorginho, really? Oh, no Rogani today as well. He doesn't even make it onto the bench. And we've got Kutarski in goal. I think he was a new signing, maybe? 77 rated. There's no Kepa. And he's going to have his work cut out today. Douglas Costa, Gabriel Jesus, Sane. <sighs> Actually, no Mendy, but they've got Georges, a left back who will certainly be a challenge. Obviously, they've got Van Dijk and Pavard, an impenetrable back line with whoever they've got in there. They've still got company, still got Robertson, still got Mendy. This is going to be a big, big test. So here we are at the Etihad, at the home of the champions. And at this stage of the season, well, it's more about taking points off Manchester City, isn't it? Imagine if we could get a win here today. We probably would be one of the only sides to do so this season or in any season, really. But yeah, if we can take some points off them now, who knows how important that will be. A few months' time, come the end of the season. Look, we've not started the season anywhere near like champions, but a win today could kickstart us again. Let's go. Oh, that's a good ball out to Trent. I think he's made a crafty run here. Oh, ho, ho, just didn't go for it. Laporte hadn't spotted it. That was a huge chance there for Reggie. A great ball in from Trent. Hudson-Odoi, good ball into Weggy, into the box here. Oh, looks to spin back inside. That's gorgeous. Wow, what a save. As Eggy pirouettes away from Van Dijk and Laporte. Eggy bounces off of Delph. Still Eggy now. Oh, lovely turn of pace onto the left foot. Another great effort. Eggy looking to drag this team forward all on his own. Two great individual bits of play there. And Jorginho now out to Eggy. Laporte comes out with a strong challenge, but will keep possession. 18 minutes in, starting to show some positive signs. Eggy now with time to look up and put a good ball in. Martinez jumps. Van Dijk deals with it. Jorginho. Hudson Adoy down the line into Loftus Cheek. Can he find Eggy here? Oh, another save, an identical save from Sergio Rico. Eggy putting the pressure on him here. Ah. Oh, lovely ball down the line into Hudson Adoy. Low ball into Eggy. Can he finish this one off? Yes, he can. And he gets his goal. I thought this might be one of those games where Eggy gets all the chances and doesn't finish any of them. But thankfully, Callum picked him out there for by far the easiest chance so far. He's had three. He's put all three of them to the bottom left-hand corner. Well, the keeper's bottom left anyway. This time he went bottom right. He's learned which side Rico likes to uh, swing to. As Eggy's finished, takes us into the lead here at the Etihad. Right, let's see if we can keep this going. Delph now. Oof, this ball can't find a way through. He'll have another chance here. Jesus on the turn. It's good defending. 
Hudson Adoy finds Eggy. Oh, Van Dyke comes and deals with that very quickly. Oh, now Costa's in. Ah, oh, shit. And it's Eggy losing possession. Didn't that happen in the last game? Oh, Van Dyke snuffing him out there before he even had a chance to know he was there. And that's a lovely ball from De Bruyne. Around the back of Trent into Douglas Costa. He finishes. And almost straight away in the blink of an eye. We're level here again at the Etihad. Hudson Odoi. Smart ball looking for Reggie. Laporte's there. Oh, Eggy's powered it back. Oh, lovely footwork into Martinez. Yes. Get in there, Reggie. He's been involved in literally every goal today. That was Eggy responding to making the crucial mistake that led to the City goal. Hudson Odoi with another good ball into Eggy. Eggy just a pain on Laporte there. Stands it up. Lovely footwork away from the big Frenchman. And then puts in a simple ball. And we're uh, ahead again. Can we keep it for more than a minute? That is the question. Gabriel Jesus. Great turn. Leroy Sane's there. <laughs> that is the riskiest type of defending possible. As he spins and somehow puts it out for a corner. Where hitting it pretty much anywhere else in the pitch would have been easier. De Bruyne a ball in. Miranda good header away. Can Kante clear it here now? If Eggy can catch up with Martinez. There could be a good chance here. Laporte gets there first. And that will be half time here at the Etihad. Eggy with the first goal. And then gets the assist for Martinez after giving the ball away cheaply. Well, not cheaply. Van Dijk appeared out of nowhere and nicked it back. That happens. Sarri has certainly got the upper hand here on Pep. Can we keep it going in this second half? Well, we're going to have to really work hard not to concede again. Although we've kept them out so far. Only one shot on target. That's rare. Maybe we've we've worked them out. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hudson Odoi, ball over the top into Martinez. Van Dyke's out there. Oh, lovely footwork there. Martinez is ball in. Falls to Hudson Odoi. Could fall to Eggy here on the rebound. <laughs> there it is. Poached Eggy. We haven't seen him in a while. And he's popped up there with a cheeky little header. To give us a two goal advantage here. We saw that coming. It was very scrappy. It's an Adoy shot is well saved, but Eggy responds quicker. Oh, lovely ball. The substitute Mikatarian will look to put one into the box. It's out only as far as Jorge. That's a good ball to Leroy Sane, and his effort, although dipping, is over the bar. This one is taken short by De Bruyne. Jesus, what a save from the keeper whose name I've forgotten, but it's not cleared here. Pavard back into Jesus. It's Loftus cheek with a really important intervention there. Jorge will win a free kick for Manchester City. We're putting us under all sorts of pressure now. Oh, lovely ball over the top into Trent. Eggy's got a great position here if he can find him. Eggy will cut it back here to Martinez. And that makes it four. And that is surely game over here. Eggy has been masterful today. We needed him to step up in this huge occasion. We knew we needed some of his X factor. He certainly had it all on display. It was a great run from Trent. Eggy screaming, knew he wanted it there in front of him, knew he had the space. Simple cutback again, Van Dijk unable to react. And somehow, by some stroke of luck, with three goals up here, just over 20 minutes left. Oh, David Silva, what a ball into Sane. Yes, Miranda. Yes. That's what we needed from the veteran captain today, popping up with an important block. Goal now would certainly make things a little dicey, as we know how efficient Manchester City can be. But that's very poor from Pavard. That is just strong, uncompromising defending. There is nothing wrong with that. Are they suggesting it's outside of the box? They are, really. I would have definitely said that was a penalty. But De Bruyne, you'd expect him to put this one away. It's gone short. It's interesting. Sane, you do not see that very often from the AI. Clever idea. Jesus now on the turn, once again snuffed out by Dave and Miranda. They have been an incredible duo today, rolling back the years. With uh, Kante ahead of them, making tackles like that. There's just been no way through for Manchester City. Jesus again, snuffed out. David Silva, N'Golo Kante says no. We say no again. Mikatarian, Jesus, Silva, still no way through. De Bruyne. Skips away from Eggy, but that is a lame shot. And with just over three minutes left here, we've done it. 4-1 against the reigning champions. With a uh, best player in the world worthy performance from Eggy Milanovic. 
Two assists for him and a goal. Man of the match performance, no doubt about it. Did we really expect to put Pep Guardiola's Manchester City to the sword in this way? No, we didn't. And it was actually a pretty tight game in the end. 50-50 split, but Eggy with the eight. He was the difference today. We saw nothing from Leroy Sane. Eggy's opposite number, the one that you'd expect to be the catalyst for this Manchester City side. But he just couldn't live up to the Eggman. There we go. What a huge three points for us. But what an important three points loss for Manchester City. I mean, does it make the loss to Leicester even more frustrating? Yes, it does. But they've actually a pretty good start to the season. So there you go. We're in third. And look at that Manchester City with their first loss of the season. No invincible season for them. Uh, Liverpool's still the only side remaining who can do that. But that is going to fill this Chelsea side with so much confidence. And Eggy, well, I mean... There's not much you can't do at the moment as we're just about to step into 85 finishing and 89 speed. Blimey O'Reilly, as they say in Ireland. And the games keep coming quickly. And we have to take a long trip now. We managed us far enough, but Moscow, this is really a long trip and Eggy is going to be tired. He ran his heart out in that game to keep the score as it was. Yep, he is tired. Sideways arrows, Alvaro and Eden come back in. You've got to say Martinez and hudson Adoy both played really well. So, uh, yeah, they, they better be slightly worried. Spartak Moscow, not a team I know anything about, but they've got some decent players. They've signed Slabhead, who in that picture, his head is looking particularly slab shape. Uh, they've got Hisaj at left back. He looks a little bit old, 75 rated. Nothing really dangerous up top. Shouldn't be the trickiest game ever, but it's a long trip. So that Manchester City performance is exactly what we need from Eggy this season. He proved last season that he's the best player in Europe. Now he needs to prove that once again, but really dominate the big games like that Manchester City game. This not such a big game, but we still expect a good performance from him and a good start to our group stage qualification campaign. Right, let's do this. Pull through to Zobny and it's laid back. Good effort there and Kepa forced into the first save of this game. 11 minutes in, Moscow have started pretty well. Promise does well to cut back inside. Fernando now. It's a good ball in. Oh, but, oh, that's good defending there from Regani. Oh, that's nicely worked. Arbatina, lovely first touch. Surely this time Kepa comes out. It's not cleared, but the Moscow player couldn't bring it under control. 26 minutes in, and there's been some hairy moments for Chelsea, who have not travelled well after a difficult game in the week against Manchester City. A lot of tired legs, and it's showing here. Eggy through the centre. Lines up the shot from distance. Oh my word! <laughs> How to silence a Russian crowd in one second without using tear gas or riot police. That is something special. And what's Russian for sex eyes? And that's Eggy flexing the long range drive for the first time properly. And that is a long way out. It opened up here, but boom! He's hit that like a rocket. That is a thunderous strike from the Indonesian. And, uh, well, Spartak Moscow have been on top here. They've been the better side. We've looked tired. We haven't really been ourselves so far after such a big game against Manchester City. Eggy's just thought, I don't think I've got the energy to run here. I'm just going to leather that. And that is something special. And there we are, half-time here in Moscow. And it is an Eggy Milana Thunderbastard from, I don't know how many yards out that was, but that was a long way. Um, and that will, hopefully, <laughs> take the pressure off Sarri whose Chelsea side have been pretty poor here in Russia. Only 33% possession. That's almost certainly our lowest ever possession in a half. Can't do much worse in the second half. You know, just keeping the ball a little bit would probably help. We've only had 35 passes made. But with a goal like that from Eggy, do we really mind? Good play here in Tarbatina. Oh, it's fallen to Shashev or Tashev or whatever his name is. And they've leveled things up here. It's no less than they deserve. The home side have been the better team throughout this game. Well, a bit simple here. Ball into Arbatina has been the danger man. Miranda couldn't deal with it. And it's a very slow response there from, I think it's Semedo, possibly. Not the best bit of defending we've seen. Morata, lovely header back to Eggy. Let's sit run. Oh, that's clever. He's found Semedo. Eggy into a good position here, into the box. This is where he's so dangerous. Can he get the cut back? That's great defending. To prevent Eggy picking out Alvaro Morata. Morata, as always, wins the header. Ah, oh, but Eggy dispossessed. It's not good enough. Great ball into Boy. Oh, he's away from his man. Kepa, huge save. 
Not the first big save from Kepler today, but perhaps the most important. Would have put Spartak ahead. Once again, Eggy dispossessed. It's a lovely ball. Into Boy. It's a good first touch as well, but Kepper made himself big. Prevented them getting a crucial second here with only nine minutes left. Oh, Eggy is fouled surely, but we'll have a real chance here if Hazard can put it into our path. Eggy onto his left foot. Oh, went the wrong side of the keeper there. Could have sealed this one. Eggy fouled in the build up there, but Morata was quick to the ball. And then Eggy had the legs to get into the box. The first touch took him into a bad position. Narrowed the angle significantly. Eggy now calling for the short one. And then it's put in beautifully. Loftus cheek off the bar. Morata on the rebound. Couldn't finish it off. Really unlucky there. And that is full time here in Russia. While well, Spartak Moscow won more than a match for Chelsea today. If anything, they should have won it. We came back a little bit in that second half. Up from 33 to 40% possession. But a few chances. Eggy really should have sealed it at the end. Uh, 7.5 for him. One of the best goals we've ever scored, I would say. Certainly the longest goal anyway. It wasn't enough as Barkley comes away with a 4.5. And Eden Hazard, who's completely anonymous, only gets a 5.5. That's no good. I might rather see hudson Adoy, who was great in the last game. It's fine. We've still got a long way to go in the group. Actually, that's our second match. What was the first one? We must have won it. Who did we beat? Dortmund. We beat Dortmund. Okay, so that's fine. And Eggy at 7.4 average rating for the season. He's playing very well. He's carrying this side. There's no doubt about it. But that's fine. The best players do carry their sides. No place for Eggy in the September team of the month, though. In the next episode, well, the big games keep coming. A fairly short break again. But we've got to be happy about the Manchester City result in this episode. That is a key one for this season. Sets down a real marker for Chelsea. We've just got to build on that in the league against Arsenal in the next episode. Who do we have after Arsenal? Arsenal and then QPR in the FA Cup. We'd love to progress in that competition. And then Club Bruges. Well, we've got plenty of games to play this season. And hopefully it's going to be another winning season. I'll see you in